this is my second day of Belfast and I'm here for the Power of Video video conference and it's amazing that we finally have another video conference here in the UK. I love conferences because you get to network with a lot of like-minded people, you get to speak to a lot of awesome content creators and learn from a lot of amazing inspiring people. Let's go in and explore all these talks. Creativity is the ability to be able to believe in your perception of the world so much that you actually create an art form out of it. It's your point of contact, it's your way to communicate your ideas. Like, if someone had to come to me and go, Hey Dan, dude, like, are you cool? Or like, what's going on? And I, I'd have to ask, like, dude, you have like three days for me to explain to you like, my feelings right now. Because I'm so deep and I've got so many thoughts and that's why I make films. Films for me are these beautiful boxed emotions. It's my mind that's all chaotic. It's my map that becomes my script, that becomes a film that I put pretty music to and, and performance and whatever else. And it, that's what movies are. It's an extension of, of human conscious thinking, right? Yeah. Collaborations are great because, like I said earlier, even though we have however many subscribers, when we did our first collaboration, there were all these people that were like, oh my gosh, Jerry Ring everything. I can't believe you did a video with him, he's so awesome, he's my favorite. Or, I came from Jerry Rig Everything, I never knew about my channel. So, even though you think you, we think sometimes, oh, we've got a big audience. There's so many people on YouTube and there are so many different audiences and collaborations can really help introduce you to a new set of people. Collaborations are one of like the best ways and one of the quickest ways to grow your channel. Um, but you just have to watch out and make sure the collaborations are with the right people. I think you'll be like, like crazy inspired by now. Do better work. Great work, always keep improving. Consistency, do more, and quality. The small stage of your journey as a YouTuber, as a creator, is so important and so beautiful. And you guys really have to embrace that. Why? Because this is the time when you guys can stuff up a lot without eyes on you. One of the other speakers touched on the pressure that you feel when you're a big speaker or, sorry, big creator. It's so true. There are so many eyes on you and stuffing up in front of a big crowd is so much worse than when you have like a few or a smaller, smaller subscriber base. It's so much easier stuffing up now, right? You have to get your foundation in place. You have to have your videos, your unique style, your niche worked out, 
you need, you need to know exactly what kind of types of videos you want to create. You need to know what like what uh, unique style of video you're going to create in order to differentiate yourself, differentiate yourself from the crowd. All of these things can be done now when you're in this smaller creator stage, right? Why do you want your channel to grow? Why do you want to be the biggest in your field, in your niche that you choose? If you don't have a why, you're not going to get anywhere. Because when things go wrong, your camera stacks up, you film an entire vlog, vlog and your camera, uh, your card formats, and you can't get that footage back. When no subscribers are growing, when nothing is going right, everything seems to be breaking, you have no one to turn to to help you build this amazing idea that you have in your brain and you have to execute it by yourself and you're really tired of working by yourself. If you have a full-time job and you still want to create this but you're tired because you have to feed your family or go to school or whatever it is, there is the only thing that will get you through these really tough times is the why. We've got a little channel on YouTube. We talk about photos, we talk about videos, we talk about Nerf blasters, we talk about drinking coffee, we inspire, we do a whole myriad of things. It's a great word, myriad. When I hear a new word, I write it down because I like to have a brimming lexicon. <laughs> that means vocabulary. Comments I see all the time. I wish I had a dope squad. Wouldn't it be great to like have friends in the same area doing the same things? Ah, the dope squad. It is, it is great, but right now, look around you. This is like an entire dope squad cathedral of people who all love the same thing sitting in the same room. How awesome is that? Find that group of people because, oh, it is just such a better ride when you can share it with your friends. But there was so much work involved to get here. So many uploads. So many plans missed. So many deleted files. By the way, fun fact, FF. I used to delete all my footage after I uploaded a vlog. Peace. Epic drone shots, crispy, tasty, buttery, slow cooked, like the, the deepest broth. B-roll. Gone. Peace. I met Maddie and he was like, Oop. You just deleted it? I'm like, yeah, well, you know, I don't need it anymore. What if, what if we want to do like a recap video or, or just, whoop, this. So, dude, you need to get a raid. I'm like, like the spread? He said, no, like the drive. I'm like, like the movie drive? I didn't like that movie. He's like, no, you need a raid drive. Like, you need to store these things. Most people just think, oh, this dude got lucky, you know, picked up a camera and was like, oh, what's up, everybody? Peter McKinnon here. Ha, that works. All right, I'll start doing that. I'll, uh, I guess I'll just rock skinny jeans, I'll throw the hat backwards, and that'll be my thing, and I'll just start talking about filmmaking, and yeah, give me like, give me nine months, and it should work out. I have been doing this for so long, I've done it all. I've had the worst jobs. It started all the way back in the circus. That was my first job. Wow, that was a cool event. It's full of inspiration and the day was full packed of really great tips. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to share, like, subscribe and hopefully I'll see you here or wherever they do this event again next year.